Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm doing tie dye with my husband and we have a lot of different clothes that we did. So we went to Utah a couple weeks ago and we tried tie dyeing with my family because my husband has never tried tie dyeing before and so we did it in Utah. Well, the only problem that we ran across is that there was six of us tie-dyeing and we all had a couple of different projects that we wanted to do. So we ran out of dye very fast. So we came home and my husband was like, I want to try that again because he, he just didn't have a whole lot of dye left over after <laughs> my sisters and I like pretty much took all the colors. So he's like, L I really want to get, a, you know, give this a fair shot. And so I was like, fair enough. So, and I was excited because I think, I think it's really fun to do. Um, and so we tried again. <laughs> Something that we did not know of the first time that we tie-dyed and we learned the second time because the first time we did not look into and we did not read the instructions we did not look at any videos and so the second time around we were looking at some videos because we really wanted them to look really good and we learned that your clothes or the cloth is supposed to be damp and we did not do that the first time and I honestly as long as it, you really had it soaked I feel like the colors were still really vibrant but with having damp cloth I feel like the color absorbed into it really well and you were able well for me again I, I just what I observed is that a little bit went a long way so I feel like getting it damp was really helpful and useful and we had a lot of dye left over but we end up using it all in the end so no dye was left unused <laughs> um so we almost had too much dye for just the two of us we needed like one more person to have a couple of <laughs> of uh, projects that they wanted to do and it was kind of funny because i told my husband i said i don't want to do a lot of rainbow and if you'll notice, I have a lot of rainbow. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh, I just struggle. I watch a lot of Mariah Elizabeth and I just, uh, she's just so talented and I just get so inspired by her, inspired by her. And so I try and I, she has helped me have an appreciation for rainbows. So, um, anyway, so if you can see in the corner, my husband, he is doing a really cool technique and we didn't have, you're supposed to roll your project around on like a paper towel roll or, you know, just something round and we didn't have anything. So he just rolled it up and then you rubber band it. And so it looks really cool in the end. I really like the way that it turned out. Um, and then obviously don't forget to saran wrap your um, projects because you are supposed to let it soak and sit, the dye is supposed to sit in um, without rinsing it for six to eight hours. And so that's a long time to um, be sitting there and just, you know, where if it's in saran wrap, it will kind of stay all connected and not drip everywhere. A technique that I am doing right now is really cool is it's called the spider and what you do is you fold your um, your shirt or whatever you fold it in half and you do a spiral and this one was really cool because I really like the way that it turns out and I did a spiral on the side so when I opened it up I was like oh I have two spirals but that makes sense and you're supposed to do all your colors on one side and then on the other side you're supposed to do darker colors so that's why I have one dark color on one side and then all the colors on the other and I ended up doing a dark blue because Tyson used black for his sweatshirt which we learned that doing a sweatshirt is actually very hard just because it's so thick that um, we kind of go oh 
you know we we like the way that it turned out but it had a lot of white in it so if you don't lock, like a lot of white in your projects make sure to have a lot of dye to really soak in you know the whole thing so that's what I suggest <laughs> because sweatshirts are just so hard because you know not only is you know just once you know the material is just so thick and then you're bunching it up all together and it just makes it more thick something and so this time around I used gloves because the first time I did not use gloves and pretty much my fingers turned black but the nice thing is is when you're rinsing out your colors um, your hands fade a lot so um, but it was kind of funny because I wear gloves, but I think my wedding ring poked a hole in the gloves. So my ring finger ends up turning like purple <laughs> because of the dye. So, but, and that's the thing that you want to make sure is make sure that your cloth is at least 80% cotton. 100% cotton is the best because here I am doing a headband and I did this before and the thing that didn't turn out with the headband is that it was actually more of I guess you could say a swimsuit material so it was more of a spandex and it rinsed out I don't know why I didn't think of it I just you know I just did it and I didn't think much of it and so I was <laughs> I was a little bummed at the first one because it's super faded and I bet if I would have put it through the wash it would have faded completely white um, so I wanted it a, so I, round two I did um, a cloth headband this time and it actually turns out pretty good and I really like it so um, but yeah it's really fun it's I feel like it's kind of challenging because after so many projects you're just kind of like okay what colors do I do so here is all our projects saran wrapped and sitting and waiting to be rinsed out and that's the hardest part for my for me is just sitting there waiting and then the rinsing out process is so annoying so I'm gonna be showing you what they all look like and this is the one that was rubber banded and something that to know is so all the socks I rinsed out and I rinsed them out in cold water waited till the water ran clear and then I unrubber banded them and then I rinsed them out in hot water because the cold water is just, is just supposed to get rid of all the loose dye and then there's just a lot more dye when you unrubber band it because and we didn't really want them to bleed so that's why we ran it through hot water and I feel like it turned out you know fairly well and then Tyson he did all the shirts and <clears throat> excuse me he just rinsed them out in hot water or in you know kind of a lukewarm water and then unrubber banded it and then rinsed it out again in hot water so I don't really see a huge difference um, I do feel like just you know some of the colors maybe you know I um, I feel like the yellow no matter what it was on it just faded a lot and so that was just one thing is that the yellow faded no matter if I you know my technique of doing cold and then hot or you know with Tyson him just doing kind of warm and hot the whole time so that's the only thing um, your hands will get colored <laughs> our hands had a very faint light blue <laughs> and he was in the tub and I was just in the sink and so his feet even got a little blue um, but we really like the way that they all turned out we think they're really cool and they're just really fun and um, we just had you know a fun Saturday of just tie-dyeing a bunch of things together and then you know Sunday we got to rinse them all out and see what they looked like and it's just always you know enjoyable to create something and you don't really know how it's gonna turn out you know you hope for one thing and then it just kind of does a mind of its own and you're just like oh I actually really like this and so 
It was really enjoyable, and I suggest try tie-dyeing at least once in your lifetime. I would say try it twice, because the first time you never know what you're doing, and you don't know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> I mean, you still don't know how it's going to turn out, but still, it's a really fun project. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.